Greetings all true believers and welcome back to Covenant Canon. E3 and RTX has passed a couple weeks ago and there was so much juicy information and gameplay to go over. Now that that's done, I'm going to be going over the rebellion that brought the Ungoy race into the Covenant military. That's right, I'm referring to the Ungoy rebellion. Let's get started. This is Covenant Canon. The Ungoy Rebellion was a large-scale revolt by the Ungoy race against the Covenant Empire in 2462 during the 39th Age of Conflict and led to a radical restructuring of the Covenant military. This led to many Ungoy feeling unsatisfied with their position in the Covenant. The rebellion was initiated by an infusion incident when growing Ungoy populations in high charity put pressure on Kigiara population with whom they shared their inhabitants. After many years without conflict or war, the overwhelming and consistently growing Ungoy population forced many Kigiars to relocate their homes and nests. The relocation put stress for many female Kigiara that were going through their incubation cycle and caused infant mortality rates to rise in high charity and birth rates to decline. In an effort to exact revenge on the Ungoy, some of the more radical Kigyar shipmasters poisoned the Ungoy infusion resources on Kigyar controlled vessels and in the lower districts of high charity. This made the contaminated males sterile, escalating the conflict between the Ungoy and the Kigyar. Shortly afterwards, an Ungoy distillers union brought their case before the Covenant Ministry of Consort concerning the growing tension between the Kigyar and the Ungoy. However, the matter was dismissed by the Minister of Concert, who was willing to accept several thousands of sterile Ungoy and did not wish to upset the entire Kigyar race. The offending Kigyar were now imprisoned, and the shipmasters were simply fined for the damages. The case eventually escalated and became the largest known grievance that the Ungoy faced in their service of the Covenant. Outraged by the case's results and lack of attention, the Ungoy began to attack not just the Kikyar, but all races within the Covenant Empire. Conflict spread throughout the lower districts of High Charity as the Sanghili and Kikyar forces attempted to quell the Ungoy rebellion. However, the species' large number and tenacious behavior made the Ungoy a very difficult foe to defeat. The rebellion then forced the hierarchs of the Covenant High Council to install an arbiter. This arbiter made the decision of partially glassing the Ungoy homeworld with a Covenant fleet. The Ungoy within the lower districts of High Charity were forced to watch as the Covenant fleet began to glass the Ungoy tribes throughout the planet. Horrified by the turn of the events, the Ungoy laid down their arms and surrendered. The Covenant fleet ended the glassing, leaving Bahalo largely intact. Although the Ungoid cared little for their planet itself, they were unwilling to lose a large amount of potential breeding partners on the planet. The Arbiter then returned to the Holy City, and the surviving Ungoi were absolved for their acts during the rebellion. The end of the Ungoi Rebellion ushered in the 23rd Age of Doubt. The war showed that when properly motivated, the Ungoi can be vicious, determined, and competent fighters, especially in close quarters combat. Following their warrior traditions, the Sanghili commanders who had defeated the uprising quickly forgave the surviving Ungoi fighters and awarded them for their courage and for their warrior spirit. The Sanghili then provided them with significantly better training and equipment, as well as access to covenant weaponry, which the Ungoi were previously forbidden from using. The Sanghili also integrated the Ungo into formerly Sanghili-only units, elevating them from unarmed cannon fodder to true infantry forces. Additionally, despite gaining many new rights, the Ungo representation within the High Council by the Ministry of Consort remained largely powerless. The rebellion also led to the dismissal of the Minister of Consort, who had refused to properly investigate the infusion incident that led to the Ungo uprising. The minister position was later succeeded by the future High Prophet of Tolerance, who would promote better relations between all members of the Covenant species. Well guys, that is it for today. If you like the content that you've seen here today, please hit like and subscribe. Until next time guys, this has been Covenant Cannon. Sun and moon and planets roll and stars that
that glow from pole to pole. Interesting song. Thanks. Human prisoner used to sing. I thought maybe practice, sing with him. But then he was in corpse pile, so no singing with him. Happy to sing to you, though. 